All right, everybody, here we go. This video is going to cover the ratio of sides, perimeter, and area in different polygons. So the first thing we're going to do is just kind of recap on what we know about similar figures is the fact that all the angles are going to be the same, but the ratio of sides must be the same from one figure to the next. Okay, so... If we look at the ratio of sides, let's do that first. Um, we have, so this is the ratio of sides 2 to 3. And if we do the other sides, we have 4 over 6, which reduces to 2 over 3. Okay, so we can see that the ratio of sides is going to be 2 to 3. So now let's take a look at the perimeter. To find the perimeter, we just have to add up the distance all the way around the figure. So that's also 4. And this guy is also 2. So the perimeter of the smaller rectangle is going to be 12. And then if we're going to find the perimeter of the bigger one, we're going to have this side is 3 and this guy is 6. We're going to add all those together and we're going to have a perimeter of 18. So the ratio of the perimeters is 12 over 18 which reduces to two-thirds so which makes sense because if all the ratio of sides is going to be two to three then the ratio of the perimeters which is just the sum of the sides should be the same so we should have a ratio of the perimeters of two to three so finally let's take a look at the area so the area, as we know, is base times height, or in this case, we can just count the one-by-one one boxes and find out that the area of the smaller one is 8, and the area of the larger one is 18. So to find the area ratio, we have 8 over 18, but when we reduce that, we only reduce to 4 ninths. So the area ratio is 4 to 9. So if you sit there and look at that for a minute, you can see the relationship between the side ratio and perimeter ratio has got to be the same. But the ratio of sides to area is the side ratio squared. And the reason for that is because we know that perimeter and sides are in terms of units, but we've always known that the area is in terms of square units. So naturally, all we have to do is take the ratio of sides, and if we square that ratio, we will have the area ratio. Okay? So now that we know that, the ratio of sides is going to be the same as the ratio of the perimeters, but the ratio of the area is going to be the side ratio squared. So we can use that to answer different types of questions. So the problem on the left, we have triangle ABC, which is similar to triangle DEF. We know that AB and DE they are corresponding sides, so they have lengths of 5 and 2. We know that the perimeter of triangle ABC is 20 meters, and we know the area of triangle ABC is 75 meters squared. So what we're going to do is we're just going to use ratios to figure out what the perimeter of DEF and the area of DEF are. So to do that, we just want to start with our basic side ratio. So the ratio of sides is 5 over 2. And we're going to set that equal to the ratio of the perimeters. So the perimeter of triangle ABC is 20 over the perimeter we're trying to find of triangle DEF. Cross multiply, 5x is equal to 40, so x is equal to 8. So we know that the perimeter of triangle DEF is going to be 8 meters. Okay, but now to find the area, remember we have to use the adjustment. So we have the ratio of sides is 5 over 2, but since we're talking area, they're squared. So that's going to give us 25 fourths is equal to 75 
over x. So when you're looking for area, you need to use the side ratio squared. That's going to give us 25x is equal to 300. So x is equal to 12. So the area is 12 meters squared. All right, and that's it. That's all you need to do. You have to use sides and perimeter is the same, but when you're looking for area, you have to square the ratio. So I'm going to leave that last one up to you. ABCD is similar to WXYZ. You are given that the area of ABCD is 24 inches squared, and the area of WXYZ is 54 inches squared. AB is given to you as 4 inches. Find WX. Obviously, you're working with the area ratio here, so make sure you use an adjustment. See if you can find WX. Pause the video. Give it a try. All right, let's see how you did. So we have our area ratios. So we have 24 over 54. And the first thing you're going to want to do is reduce this. So when you reduce this, you're going to find out that the ratio is 4 ninths. So if you have a ratio of 4 ninths, to find the side ratio, you have to think about those as squared ratio of the side. So you want to square root both of those. So the side ratio is actually 2 thirds. That's the catch. So you have to work backwards with the area ratio. Okay, so that means now that we know that the side ratio is 2 thirds, we have AB is 4 inches over an unknown length. Cross multiply, 2x is equal to 12. So we know that WX is equal to 6 inches. All right, that's it for this video here. Just remember, side ratio is the same as the perimeter ratio, but the area ratio is the side ratio squared. This is Longo and I'm out. See you, bye.